For the past 50 years, United Way of Larimer County is focused on bringing the community together during times of need. And while the needs have changed throughout the years, United Way continues connecting individuals to the issues. In 1887, United Way got its start in Denver when a local priest, two ministers, and a rabbi recognized that in order to address the needs of the city's welfare problems, a collaborative action was needed. In that first year of collaboration, the Charity Organization Society, which was the first United Way organization, raised $21,700 in a single fundraising campaign for 22 agencies, paving the way for collaborative efforts around the country. In 1936, Fort Collins joined 353 other communities, establishing its community chest, raising $8,000, benefiting five local agencies. From the beginning, through the Great Depression and two world wars, the Fort Collins Community Chest continued to raise money for people and agencies in need. One of the biggest issues at the time was homelessness. In 1958, the Fort Collins Community Chest became the United Fund. Later that same year, the United Fund of Loveland was formed, eventually including Berthoud and Estes Park. Volunteers for these United Funds raised money through a community door-to-door -door fundraising effort called Block Campaigns. We had uh, somebody on each block, if possible, usually one block, and they'd just take the envelope and trot around their neighborhood. And you know it was a great way for people to feel really involved with United Way. It wasn't just a matter of writing a check and mailing it in. It was not at all hard to get people to work for it. And I've always been sort of proud of that with the United Way. People were willing to do it and be involved. By 1968, both organizations were supporting 18 agencies in each of their communities, and fundraising topped $135,000 in Fort Collins and Lovell. This increase in fundraising led to the hiring of the first employee, Val Ogden, as executive director. Workplace giving also started to make an impact as an additional source of fundraising. I think every company has an obligation to give back to their community. And also, it's something our employees care about. In fact, I think most employees care about it. It enables them through their work to really be a part of their community in, an, in a helpful manner. By the mid-1970s, volunteering was becoming more and more a part of people's lives. And in 1974, the first National Volunteer Week was held in April. And United Way officially added volunteering to its mission. The United Way is a, an avenue to volunteer, but it also provides services to agencies, structure through fundraising, campaign, uh, service to the boards, actual physical service through Day of Caring. So I think United Way is a volunteer bus and we all ought to take a ride. By the late 1970s, things were changing socially across the country. There were more single parent families in our community. Women were going to work in greater numbers and child care was a growing concern. The baby boom generation was advancing through the workforce accumulating assets and increasing its standard of living faster than any generation in memory. It was estimated at that time that more than half of all people receiving assistance in Fort Collins received it through United Way funded agencies. Into the 1980s, United Way continued supporting agencies throughout northern Colorado using new ways of fundraising. In 1987, Dellenbaugh Motors began a new fundraising tradition of giving away a brand new car. Dave Veldman had been back east uh, on a business meeting and had seen a campaign done by United Way where they gave a car away in a raffle. So he approached us, talked about the idea of us providing this vehicle as a way to increase the donor donations and it was kind of the idea that there are a lot of people that give, but would they give just a little bit more if they had a chance to maybe win a car? 
Uh, it's always been my dad's philosophy that, you know, you give back to the community that, uh, that supports you and Fort Collins has done a great job in, in, uh, with our success and, uh, and so that's why we decided it would be a good idea to do. Over time, state and local governments started cutting programs created to help people. So people became increasingly dependent on nonprofit services, which meant nonprofits turning to United Way for funding. As the year 2000 passed, this became an era of increased change and collaboration. In 2003, Fort Collins and Loveland United Ways merged to become United Way of Larimer County. The reality was we were two separate organizations, uh, even though we were collaborating a lot. We did involve all the communities in Larimer County together. I mean, Loveland, Estes Park, uh, Berthoud, Fort Collins, Wellington, uh, Red Feathers Lake, all of the, even the small communities were part of a bigger piece, and I think that was a big help. Looking forward to the next 50 years, United Way of Larimer County will continue focusing on collaboration in times of need serving the community the same way it always has, with three simple actions. Give. Advocate. Volunteer.